Here are the stream's reactions after the 2009-2010 winter. And after all the high flows of water and snow melt and rain that we've had. There were numerous uh, sediment pushes and after having a lot of woody debris after four years has finally moved out of the way. But a lot of stone structure that was placed to form ripples and pools that stayed. Large sediment push onto this downside slope. The majority of the water through the summer should come along and down towards this. So this is the lower end. You can see where the water's flowing in from this direction. That's the higher end there. But this is working just right though. It's not overcutting into the bank areas. It's not destroying any of the land. And it's naturally going back down one of the second of the third funnels. There's three waterway splits right here. That should work during high water events. section that was gorged out that has a split right here at its top path. The majority of the water through the summer will come down through this middle. Keep it one stream. Here's where it breaks off. Large stone structure pushing high water flows over to that corner. That way, not 
this section isn't taking all the brunt of the force on high water pumps. That new gorge. All these nice pool areas. But there's that tiny area where I have the water pumping underneath the rock and then that really small forming gorge in the middle of it. And that's the way all the natural water flow would always go through the winter. So that hasn't changed. Look at this large woody debris push formed right in the most perfect area, naturally. All these side shoots here, water is going down here continuously for years. Look at this log structure that formed itself here. It's massive. This is due to all the woody debris that I put upwards. Form these huge hole here.